a movie. Let's head now this morning to the uh, editorial coordinator and film critic for HollywoodChicago.com. Patrick McDonald is back with us. Hey, Patrick, good morning. Hello. Good morning. Be safe, be healthy. Jump into the Deadpool. Let's go to the movies. What about uh, the other one, Made in England? Tell us about that one. Yes. Made in England, the films of Powell and Pressburger in limited release beginning tomorrow and throughout August. After enduring yet another superhero movie, forgive my movie geek indulgence in a documentary about British filmmakers Michael Powell and Emmerich Pressburger, narrated by Martin Scorsese. Powell and Pressburger teamed up just before World War II began, and in that time he managed to make artistic propaganda films that allowed the citizens of England and the world to get through the war with some creative integrity. They are best known for the ballet movie The Red Shoes, but also scored with the classics The Life and Death of Colonel Blimp, uh, Black Narcissus, and A Matter of Life and Death with David Niven. As the post-war boom led to the more commercial 1950s, the style of Powell and Pressburger fell out of fashion. Their work habits began to irritate each other, so they split in 1957. But what is most astounding is that their works were largely forgotten through the 1960s until a group of rebellious filmmakers led by Scorsese, Brian De Palma, and other American New Waivers rediscovered them and were influenced by them. Martin Scorsese was thrust into P&P's world directly as Michael Powell became a mentor when Marty searched for and found him. And also Powell eventually married Scorsese's film editor, Thelma Schoonmaker, who produces the film. The history of the duel is epic. They called themselves the archers and remastered the form and function of cinema art to define what is called pure filmmaking, a form of storytelling style that only exists in the movies. They, along with Orson Welles, the 1950s French New Wave directors, and other grittier elements of the film world, influenced the wave of 1970s U.S. creators, who would in turn influence what we see in movies today. It's an amazing history of wartime, storytelling, triumph, failure, and rediscovery, and finally gives these masters their ultimate honor. Made in England, the film of films of Powell and Pressburger, a must-see, five out of five, in select theaters beginning tomorrow, July 26th, and throughout August. See local listings. Okay, do you got to be a movie geek to enjoy that movie, though? No, uh, I think you have to be someone who's interested in the history of social movements. And what is the biggest social movement in history? The art of film. Hmm. All right. Okay. <laughs> Do you All buy right. that?